So we asked our viewers a few videos ago, should we do merchandising? And I think the overall feeling that was, yes, we should give it a go, you know, sort of thing, pens, mugs and that. There is a local company who offered to do merchandising from for us uh, to take away the, the packaging and the delivery and all of that and uh, they can produce designs for us. So I went over yesterday to have a look at their operation to see what they did and I thought it was quite interesting so I thought I'd share that with you now and you can have a look. Right, so I'm here at designandpersonalised.co.uk and I'm going to have a look at so hello, Handy. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> hello. Welcome to Design and Personalise. You're going to show us around some of what you do here, yes, are you? Um, yeah. This is uh, the mug machine. Um, it's an automated mug machine. Yeah. And um, what actually happens is we put the mugs into the holder here. Like so. And if you have yeah. a look on the screen here. Yeah. When these turn green, that's an indication for the machine to start. Right. So at the moment, what it's doing is actually heating the bottom of the mug. Right, so it's warming them up. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Because the bottom of the mug is a lot um, thicker. Yeah. So consequently, yeah. the heat at the bottom warms that bit of the mug. Right. So you get a consistency there. Okay. The actual uh, print. Right. So to give you an idea um, how the process works. I've always wondered. Yeah, that's it. So, <laughs> Yeah. This is uh, dye sublimation. So a ju jubilee mug, yeah. That's right, dye, yeah. dye sublimation. Yeah. So these are the printers here, yeah. which actually print off the, right. the image. Okay. So what we do then is we actually wrap that round the mug. Yeah. And then tape it. And then tape it on. Yeah. So what? So we put it in the carriage like so. And what this is doing now, that's taking it into a heater band. Right. Now the heater band is 180 degrees. Yeah. And what that does then is it's converting that print into a gas. The, the mugs are special mugs because they've got like a coating on the side. Right. Of okay. Them. Okay. Um, so when it when it converts to a gas, then it goes into into the into the actual coating on the Right. Mug. Oh, okay. Now the timing is uh, three minutes for, for each yeah, market. Yeah, that's right. Right, okay. So once the, once the three minutes is up, then the robotic arm will actually take the mug out yeah. and then take it onto the conveyor belt here. Yeah. And what there's fans underneath it because it's really hot these mugs. It's cooling cool them down, obviously. That's right, yeah. that's it. And then uh, uh, there's also a, an air conditioning unit there to even cool Right, it. okay. But, it's all very clever, isn't it? <laughs> and I thought you got sat there with your paintbrush. That's it, yeah. No. So, whilst that's doing Whilst that's that, cooking. Um, so, what we'll do is just to give it, uh, the customers an idea of what, what you know, what's sort available. Sort of things you do, yeah. So, this is a, a chopping board. Yeah. Um, this is what's known as laser engraved. Okay. So, a typical laser engraving machine is, is one that's over there. Right. Um, and again, and so you start with a chopping board, obviously. That's right. And then again, if yeah. anyone's moving to a new house, yeah. then they can have. Uh, that's a nice little gift, then, that's isn't right, it? That's yeah. It. And then obviously, uh, we do the personalised pens as so well. So you will have seen these with a the YouTube logo that's on it. them. That's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. So here is um, the T-shirt side of the business. Now this is actually the latest technology. Of this it's what's known as. DTF, which is direct to film. Okay. So what happens here is the printer prints it onto film, yeah. and then it's actually then pressed onto the garment. Okay. There, okay. And then you just simply peel it. Peel off. it off. Wow. So this is a this is a so it's brand the, brand new technology. Brand new technology. It used to be vinyl. Yeah. Now vinyl, you used it was a cutter that used to cut them out. Yeah. And you had to actually then take out the O's oh, and, the, and the grief, P's yeah. and that's right, which yeah. is very time consuming. Yeah. This, there's no time in no. So, okay. So that, technology all the time is, is in, yeah. in, in improving. So it's that sort of, yeah. But, and as you can see, the quality is, is oh, just, look at a, that. just yeah. amazing, yeah. absolutely amazing. 
Resolute Ink. That's it. That's it. Wow. Do you remember Kodak? Kodak. Kodak, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, these are the people that actually make the ink for that. Okay. And it was wow. Kodak was the first one to de de develop yeah. uh, direct to film. So I, I did think, wonder uh, what happened to Kodak. That's it, yeah. No, yeah. they're still about. Yeah, yeah. They, they, are, yeah. they are really involved heavily yeah. in this side of the we, we were involved in scanning at one stage, yeah. so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we went to the Kodak Center at um, Hemel. Hemel. Yeah. yeah. So we'll go back to the mud. Yeah. Um, yeah. As you can see, it's a kicking amount of the heater fan now, and then uh, place them on the conveyor belt. Whilst they're on the conveyor belt, the um, the fans the working fans underneath. Are working underneath and actually cooling them. Yeah. So what I can do to demonstrate to you how it actually happens is I can now take that off. Oh, the periodic table. The periodic table. <laughs> There we'll, you we'll, go. We'll, we'll, so we do a little test to see. <laughs> oh no! No no! <laughs> I'll give you an easy one. Oh Rob. dear! I'll give you an easy one. <laughs> I was watching um, Breaking Bad the other it. day, and they use the periodic tables for the names on the on the titles. The title. Here you go, Bob. You'll get this one. Yeah. Zinc. Zinc. Um, Zn. Is yes. It? There you go. Oh wow! Well. <laughs> You've not forgotten. <laughs> so um, these are these have sold really well. The, the Jubilee mugs. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's it, yeah. Yeah. They're really nice. Yeah. yeah. They are good quality mugs, these. I mean, that's we have right. been using yeah. the ones you gave us in the, in the van. That's it, yeah. 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 Lovely. Nice, clear print. Yeah, yeah it's brilliant. Now, these are what's known as a UV printer. Okay. So, how a UV printer works is that the ink is hardened by a UV light. Right. Um, so we'll come back to these, but I'm going to set this up for you, Bob, so yeah. you can actually see. Okay. Um, and what's this doing? So this 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 would print the pens. This, right. This, this okay. Machine okay. Gotcha. Pens, gotcha. Yeah. Now over in the corner here um, is. You've got your engraving the, there. The, the, the engraving under the glass. <laughs> yeah. Which um, so these are the gift tubes that we, we put the uh, items in. These are for when we do the presentation uh, presentation uh, presentation box for yeah. when we do a flute pair for okay. uh, weddings, uh, uh, engagements, things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, everything else will go into one of these. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, All right. For the whiskey glasses, the small oh, yeah. ones. Yeah. So whiskey glasses Obviously as well. They're a lot smaller. So. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, what we do with our engraving, uh, some people engrave straight onto the glass, it doesn't yeah. leave a nice finish. No. So we go onto a piece of paper. Okay. Like that. Yeah, a bit of wind volume. And place it on the glass. So that's just a bit of water, is it? Or just or a windoline? Windoline, yeah. So okay. um, it just it, it makes the, the finish on the glass much clearer and much nicer for the customer. Uh, and also, that becomes our print area. Um, okay. So when we set the machine up, so you know where you're printing yeah, so too. You know exactly where it's going. Okay. Okay. So we have two machines. So we're on a set of pint glasses, whiskey yep. glasses. Right. So a little bit wider. Gin. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. The wide thing. Yeah. And this one's for like a, obviously the circular. Okay. Um, yeah. Hey, are you alright? You okay? So this is already set up. Normally we, we set up the heights and things like yeah. that. Yeah. This was set up already, so we'll just pop that down. Here is that, that's what you're going to print to it. Yes, that's what the customers chose. Yeah. Okay, so it's just a case of running the software. And that sends so it's a bit of a CAD cam, I suppose, is it? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so that'll send that to the machine. So yeah. Now it's in the machine. Yeah. So you can get the that, do what you want. Yeah. And it's just the green button just runs that design. Right, okay. Um, and off it goes. Off it goes, basically, yeah. And obviously, if you want to see how it goes. Yeah. Right, so it's just actually going through the glass, isn't it? Yeah, through the paper, nice, rather. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just nice so how long does each one take? Is it? Or it depends on the design, I guess. Yeah, it's, yeah obviously. It's a large design on that. Yeah. So we do the big beer tankers. Yeah. So they may take four minutes. Yeah. Uh, some of these designs only take two minutes. Yeah. This one's two minutes. I'll tell you there, yeah. like 2.36. Yeah. Remaining. Remaining, yeah. yeah. 
Okay, you can see it appearing now, can you? Yeah. Quite incredible, really. <laughs> so when anyone can load stuff in from anywhere, yeah. Yeah. Is, is it la it's laser doing it's it? Laser so can you do any sort of design then? If someone sends you yeah. a design, as long as it's yeah. TIFF or... Yeah, as long yeah. as yeah. we convert some for customers as well, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, we can do anything. Right. As long, obviously, as long as it's not... They're not trying to overlay it with different colours, because obviously yeah. an engraving is just one colour, so... Right. Uh, as long as it's clear... Clear, yeah. Clear, uh, yeah. yeah. A clear design we can yeah. do. So it is, it is basically that clear design, isn't it? That's, yeah. that's the finished product. For yeah. Them, yeah, OK. Yeah. Lovely. We just, yeah. That's finished, and then we just give it a little clean with it again, just a yeah. bit, bit of window in, and then we put the, yeah. and then you package it up. We put the second one in, yeah. Yeah. So I just give it a little, little guard in there, and just clean out any. So if it's got a bit of window in left over, yeah. Just clean it up, and then basically that's packaging one. it up. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, so, so, so this is the engraving? Yeah, so this is engraving the rubber stamps. Right, okay. So each design is, is loaded onto the sheet. Yeah. And then this engraves it back to front. So right. obviously when it goes onto the stamp... Yeah, it's reversed. Stamp, yeah, yeah. it'll flip back round. Um, so every single order we get, we have to manipulate it onto this sheet. Yeah. And then when the sheet's full, we... Right, so there, there may be different designs on there then. Every single one pretty yeah. much, uh, yeah. Uh, the odd one is the same, but other than that, yeah. all the ones along the top and yeah. apart from the bottom left are all a separate custom design. What's it doing there? That's a piece of flat, uh, a piece of rubber then, presumably, yeah, is so it? So right. So all it's doing is it's oh, taking right, out gotcha. the rubber. Gotcha, yeah. 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 The, the print underneath, yeah. Lines. Yeah. Because of cuts, so obviously we can just sort of pop them out. Yeah. So that that. Yeah, so that, that's kind of doing the cut as well then. Yeah, so yeah. it finishes the, the, the sheets and then and does the cut. Back in and does gotcha. The cut. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's fascinating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Beans, yeah. I'll go out to a coffee shop for like loads of stamps. And ah, like yeah, that. yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Your Costa Coffee one. Yeah. <laughs> so things like that are very popular. We sell quite a lot. Yeah. Right? So yeah. These also engraved boards, which the finished product then look like this. Yeah, no, you've shown me that, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah so that's done on there that's as well. That's exactly the same okay. procedure, but yeah. obviously, where's that reverse? That's yeah. gone straight. Right, yeah. Obviously, it, it's straight. Yeah, there. unless it was on a mirror or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. That's it, yeah. yeah. iPhone cases as well? Yeah, so yeah, there are with different Samsung, Samsung uh, models, Samsung. obviously, Samsung. there's quite a lot. Yeah. These are all the iPhones, so yeah. iPhone XR12. Yeah. Whatever, yeah. And, well, yeah. And, and you print on them or? Yes, yeah, so we print onto the back like a photo collage. Oh, okay. Pretty much like the mug. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, they're popular as well. Yeah. And, and coasters. Yeah, slates. That we slates, print on. yeah, little yeah. mats. Slates. Um, all right. Wait till we get slated again. I think you'll get it. I'll add a stand, so we put them on stands as well. Okay. Uh, Agreed. They did have some marble, but they might have sold them up. <laughs> uh, and these are the largest slates. Right, yeah. So that's a dinner, dinner mat. Yeah. Type thing, yeah. You can put whatever you like on them. Yeah. So slate products are popular at the moment. Wow. Well. Uh, these machines are just multi, multi Multi, yeah. And that's done on there. So Bob, we this is a, a UV printer. Uh, as you can see, we've got a jig specially made for thirty-two pens. Right. Um, so what actually happens is that. When we get it started, you'll see that the head actually goes across the the pen, prints, and then thereafter there's a there's a quite a bright light, and that's a UV light, and that hardens the ink. Right. Okay. So we'll, we'll get it started. So what the, what this is doing now it's setting the height because the the head is only a couple of mil above. You can so see that in there, can you? That's all we see then there. At, at the minute, yeah. yeah, yeah. What, what's happening on the front here, it yeah. says head temperature. Right. So what that is, so the, the ink is, is, is coming out of the head at the perfect temperature. So yeah. it, what it does, it heats the head. Yeah. Uh, so once that goes off, then it, it, it will actually start. Right. 
you put all the inks up there as well. That's it. Just, yeah. So typically, CM, is it, this is sort of ink that costs you an arm and a leg, is it? This it stuff? goes a long way though. Yeah. It does cost yeah. it a bit, but yeah. it does go a long way. So you've got the black. Still cheaper than petrol. Yeah, exactly. Magenta, <laughs> cyan, yellow. Yeah. Uh, clear. clear. That okay. puts a clear on the top of it, right. which makes it, it gives a bit more warmth yeah. to it. And then you've got the white. Okay. You can see the head going across. And as it's going back the other way, you'll see the, the bright light. And right. that's a UV light that yeah. actually hardens, hardens the, the ink. ink. Okay. And it's hard within seconds. As soon as that light goes on, it, it's yeah. hard straight yeah. away. Yeah. If the, if the UV light doesn't come on, then the ink, you could just wipe it off. Right, okay. Yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? Because yeah. it's a very shiny surface. That's it. Are a UV printer will, will only be able to print onto very flat surfaces. Yeah. There is a slight curve on the pen which is able to cope with that. Yeah. But you couldn't put like a bottle in and print round the edge. No. It just wouldn't no. do it. It, it no. needs to be uh, almost flat. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, oh, that amazing. There you go. You can get a little lid. Very nice. Lovely. There you go. Thank you. So what did you think? I thought it was quite interesting and uh, I never really knew how they made these uh, products and uh, they did the engraving and uh, the printed pens and all that sort of thing. I'd like you to tell us what you'd like to see, what sort of merchandising would you like? You know, would you like t-shirts, uh, pens, mugs and that sort of thing? Uh, it looks like they can do most of those things that we saw and it would certainly take away a lot of the worry of the delivery and the packaging from us so uh, make it a lot easier for us and the one thing that been put in as off doing merchandising was always sort of the um, the actual logistics of it as it were so let us know what you think uh, leave a comment tell us what sort of things you might be looking for if you were going to buy merchandise from uh, our channel and uh, we'd be interested to hear what you think uh, and if you enjoyed the video and you found it interesting, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And we'll catch up with you in the next one. See you then. Bye then. Oh look, we've all got my logo on it. <laughs> look at that. That's brilliant, isn't it? And they're all shiny as well. Excellent.